New games, new upgrades and new ways to game in the clouds. All this and more in this week's Cloud Gaming News Recap. Google Stadia began and ended the week strong. Cities Skylines joined the platform and went straight into the Stadia Pro library for subscribers. You can still purchase the game separately and there is a 60 minute trial too. Far Cry Primal also joined this week and is available to purchase in the Stadia store right now. We also got a release date for the upcoming Death Run TV, June 1st 2022. Outright Games announced 6 family kids games coming soon to Stadia this past week. DC League of Super Pets The Adventure of Crypto and Ace has a release date of July 15. My Little Pony A Mere Time Adventure is listed as coming soon. Paw Patrol Grand Prix is coming on September 30. LOL Surprise is coming on October 7 while Star Trek Prodigy Supernova will also be joining sometime in October. Finally, DreamWorks Dragons Legends of the Nine Realms will be arriving sometime this fall. Fortnite on mobile is now officially out of beta on GeForce now with touch controls. This was GFN's big news piece this week and we put the new feature through its paces. Check out our video on this one to find out more. Six games were announced on Thursday, five of which are new game releases. Deadcraft and Old World both come from Steam. Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song was this week's big game release from Epic. Eternal Threads was a last minute edition not included in the latest blog. That one comes from Steam, as does Dolmen. The final game this week was Trigon Space Story, released not too long ago and is available from Epic. We got our fortnightly xCloud news this week which announced 7 games for the cloud and we may get more as the game preview for Little Witch in the Woods wasn't listed for cloud but is available now. As is Umarangi Generation Special Edition, Jurassic World Evolution 2, Farming Simulator 22 and Skate. Floppy Nights is due May 24th and Pac-Man Museum Plus will arrive a few days later on the 27th. Touch controls have now been added to another 11 games. A Memoir Blue, Contrast, Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair Anniversary Edition, Iron Chronicle Rising, Far Changing Tides, Kentucky Route Zero, Loot River, Paradise Killer, Tainted Grail Conquest, Townscaper and Visage. Four games are leaving on May 31st, Farming Simulator 19, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Super Hot Mind Control Delete and Yes Your Grace. Four out of the six Boosteroid US data centers are in soft launch. You can access the service right now and when the final two US servers are up and running, they will be making an official announcement. No news regarding the 2D is intended for Mexico just yet though. You may remember a while ago Boosteroid added the install feature and within it we had a number of Bandai Namco and Capcom published games. Now we have much more, GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption from Rockstar are now listed here as well as Call of Duty Vanguard and Starcraft from Activision Blizzard. There are many more to choose from and you can get started with Boosteroid using the link in this video description. Shadow was back in the spotlight this past week. They announced a range of new power upgrades coming this fall. For an additional $14.99 per month on top of the $29.99 users already pay, you can get an upgraded AMD EPIC 7543P CPU with 4 cores and 8 threads. Either an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 class, NVIDIA's equivalent graphics cards tailored for professionals, or AMD's latest RDNA 2 based GPUs, including the AMD Radeon Pro V620 GPU designed for cloud computing and gaming. The GPU will depend upon your location. There is also a RAM upgrade included, boosting you to 16GB. Shadow also unveiled that the base Shadow subscription plan and its power upgrade will be available soon in new territories, including Canada and Austria, this fall. 
Shadow Drive is a new online storage solution that will be available this fall. Shadow Drive will be free with up to 20GB of storage while a premium version of the service will be available at $8.99 a month with 2TB available. The new online storage solution will be available in soft launch with selected users this summer and available to all in Europe this fall and soon in North America. Finally, Shadow will have a new look and redesign of its overlay interface, offering an even more intuitive and responsive experience coming soon. CCP Games, the devs behind the space sci-fi hit EVE Online, have teamed up with Intel to launch a new cloud-based option to play their hit MMO directly from the browser of any desktop and laptop device. This new service, dubbed EVE Anywhere, doesn't come for free like the game itself on other platforms. Subscribers or Amiga pilots, as they are better known within the world of EVE Online, can access this as long as they have a valid subscription, but you can also purchase access with Plex Points, which start at $1.99 for 50 Plex Points, and 30 of those will get you access for 24 hours. We will definitely be testing this in the coming days, so stay tuned. That's you all caught up with this past week's news. Let me know if I have missed anything you think should be in here and drop those thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll be back again soon with more great cloud gaming content.